dish? This is a smoked turnip tartare. Play on a beef tartare, just use some smoked turnips. It's uh, vegetarian. So you have turnips that you got from? From this farm, from Sugar Camp. Um, mix that with some scallions that we got from Sugar Camp. Mix that with some uh, QP mayo, which is a Japanese mayo, uh, really flavorful. Then has some uh, ramps in there, a little green onion. Has uh, the spices, the tar, Aleppo, sumac, and capers. Really simple. This little all just vegetarian? Yeah, a little lemon juice, and we'll call it a day. My name is James Kerwin, and I'm the executive chef of Little Fib Nashville. Uh, so it was just like really important to us, you know, with the theme of the dinner and using local products and really just trying to utilize the whole entire um, animal that we actually broke down two whole entire hogs by Tennessee grass fed. Um, and obviously part of that, there's some scraps, there's some ends, there's trimmings. Uh, so we made a couple styles today. We did a beer brat with our uh, honey wheat beer that we make with tailgate. Uh, we made a country ham XO sausage, um, all pork, all with the trimmings, mostly belly. And then we made a beet blood sausage, so kind of in the tradition of normal boudin noir, uh, but we use beets and barley. Uh, so it's got that cool, funky color um, with just a little bit of the pork fat to kind of fill in. So all kind of interesting, a little different, um, all in the, in the spirit of not wasting anything and being delicious. All right, so next we're going to do a um, lamb and mustard green tamale. Uh, what's different about this tamale is that we use grits instead of masa uh, for the dough. And so it's not quite as thin as you're used to with the tamale. It's going to have some texture to it like, like grits do. Uh, we're going to top it with a nice scallion salsa verde and some pea shoots. Uh, all veggies in this dish came from within 100 feet from where we're standing. So can't really beat that. So our dessert tonight, we're going to call it milk and cookies, um, in quotation marks. So what we did, we made a little vanilla sublime, has some uh, strawberry dressing on the top. We made a strawberry butter cookie, and then we made a sandwich cookie with spinach. So we basically just assembled these little shot glass of diced strawberries. And this is going to be our boba tea, which is a Korean milk tea. So it's just a little black tea, a uh, little whole milk. 
some sorghum syrup and um, a little bit of vanilla. And so traditionally boba tea has uh, fruit jellies in the bottom or tapioca pearls. Uh, what we did was just dice some strawberries to play as that fruit, fruit jelly and just to get a little bit of sweetness. But uh, plays together as milk and cookies and it's kind of the way we want to cap off the night. The farm dinner to me is the culmination of everything that is edible. It is the people that produce our food. It's musicians that play the music while we're eating our food. Um, it's the farmers that grow our food. It's the potter that you have this beautiful food on because even how you eat your food and how the table is set is important, right? And we can bring all of these people together in this one big crazy event with each other and with the community. Everybody eats, right? So instantly everybody has an interest in the topic. It's about the celebrations and the traditions and the rituals and where your food comes from. So that's ultimately what Edible is about, connecting all of those dots.